I bought a box of old sealed Yu-Gi-Oh product. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today I'm gonna to be opening a box of sealed Yu-Gi-Oh product that I actually bought while I was at the YCS on eBay. <laughs> But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away three champion pack packs, and this is two, three, and four. These are light packs, but they're still pretty awesome for sealed collection. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite item in this box. So the story with this box is I was at the YCS. I was at Hartford. I was trying to buy some cool stuff. I tried to buy a prize card, tried to buy a fair servant box, and we just couldn't agree on the price, so it didn't actually happen. But then someone hit me up, and they're like, hey, there's such and such. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is to spoil the video. On eBay, you should buy it. So I ended up buying one thing and found turns out this guy was a fan he was a fan of me and he was like oh yeah i have more stuff and i was like yo let's buy it so i bought a bunch of old school stuff from him i mean it's not a crazy amount it's in this small box but it was a decent amount of stuff that uh we got for a pretty pretty decent deal i think so we're definitely going to be opening up some of it in this video all right let's see what's inside i'm, not, I'm gonna pull it over here and not spoil it for you guys um it is very difficult to open at this angle well let's go so first we have two unlimited legacy of of darkness good start we've got a few first edition pharaonic guardian that's five of those we've had great luck with this set we've pulled like three lava golems at this point we have four unlimited magicians for us so yeah dark magician girl maybe i don't know if they're retail or hobby or not but uh either way it's gonna be pretty awesome and then finally for the loose packs we have some first edition magic rulers so we have three four five six seven eight nine and we've had a bunch of these recently we've not pulled a blue eyes tune in quite a while i think leon Heart was the last time we pulled one at his house so let's see if we can uh you know Pull something amazing out of there. And those were the extra things I bought. The original thing that I bought was a first edition Legacy of Darkness booster box. So uh, if you guys don't know, the 24 pack box has Yada. Yada just got unbanned. So I figured this would be a pretty sick box break to do. So the back has been scribbled on. So it's a perfect box for a box break. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys check out the YouTube membership down below or Patreon. You guys will have access to this box break. It's gonna be pretty cool, 24 packs. Hopefully we can get a Yada. We have not pulled one in a very, very long time. I don't even remember the last time we pulled one. So this will not be open in this video, but these loose packs right here will be open in this video. And we're talking like 19-ish packs, something like that. I don't remember the exact number but we're going to be opening all of these first edition and unlimited so sit back relax and enjoy this awesome opening and as we're getting into it i want to remind you guys i have been streaming on twitch constantly like eight times in the last two weeks at this point and pretty much every day that i've been home so go check out my twitch link is in the description give me a follow there we're playing uh master Rule and like pokemon nuzlocks and stuff like that go check it out now let's hop into this opening let's see if we can pull something amazing so these were loose packs so we don't know they i mean they could be scaled i don't think they were he said he found them from a long time ago so you never know what that could actually turn out to be but let's open them up and see if we can pull something cool so there's a lot of awesome commons and rares in this set as you guys know we've opened it quite a bit metamorphosis trap dust shoot we've got awesome rares like book of moon let's see if we can pull some of them. we got the cobra man sakuzi the giant axe mummy gravekeeper's vassal from duel links the teuton mask disturbance strategy gravekeeper's guard hieroglyph hieroglyph lithograph i can't speak cry you well very nice and a dark geroid so there's our first rare i thought there was two more cards the weird thing with Ferran and guardian is they have these like rolled edges i don't know if you guys can tell but like they're literally like bent backwards it's kind of weird you kind of feel like you're gonna paper cut yourself the entire time which there's a good chance of getting a cardboard cut and that hurts look guys i do a dangerous job opening Yu-Gi-Oh packs is dangerous you know what i'm saying i mean it's it's pretty scary i i do what i bet i do what i can to stay safe but it is pretty intimidating going to work every day you know what I'm, <laughs> you know what i'm saying all right first First edition magical or enough of that really bad joke let's see if we can pull a blue eyes white dragon i don't know if these are retail or hobby either way i'm pretty excited i would love either secret rare we have a guardian of the throne room this is the little brother of the slot machine labyrinth wall the liquid beasts house of knees of tape ancient one of the deep forest fire kraken dark witch crab turtle is it next Heroes Shadow Scout. So we are off to an 0 for 2 start. I'm hoping that these are not like scaled or all, you know, rares or whatever, but that's the risk you take when you open these loose packs. But I know you guys love old school openings, as do I. So that's why we're doing it. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. Let's go into a Magician's Force pack. These are unlimited, but Dark Magician Girl Unlimited is insane. Dark Paladin would also be awesome. I don't think the price is that crazy for the unlimited, but I would still go crazy if we pulled that. We pulled it once on a box break and it was pretty pretty awesome we got the exhausting spell the giant orc anti-spell pitch dark dragon he's very dark dimension jar that's a that's a jar no one ever remembers cure you the second goblin 
formation unit and dramatic rescue dramatic all right okay over three start usually in these old packs you get about one every four to five packs you'll get a foil so we're still on pace okay to maybe pull something we could pull something here and be fine back to magic ruler because we do have nine of those let's see i love opening these old ones can we get something that'll make it worth it actually in terms of our money unlikely but it's possible i believe horn of light sonic bird tie home number two the electric snock penguin knight eat kaboon queen bird Mystic Plasma Zone and a Karate Man. We just have a regular old Karate Man. Unfortunately, he's playing Karate, but uh, playing Karate, is that what you say? Doing Karate? Maybe that's better. Back to the Pharaonic Guardian PGD First Edition. We have a Dice Jar. This is a pretty good common. Wow, there's a little dot on there. Trap Dust Shoe. That's a really good common. All right, we'll take that. Gravekeeper's Curse. Will there be a Metamorphosis in here for the Trifecta? Banner of Courage. Card Shuffle. That's us right before we duel. Eight Claws, Scorpion, Swarm of Scarabs, Narrow Pass, Book of Moon. Okay, that's a great rare. It has had like a million printings since then, but still pretty nice rare. Okay, so far not looking too good in the foil department because we have zero right now. All right, let's try a Legacy of Darkness. We've opened many of these in the past and we have had good and bad luck. And uh, I already know what the comments are saying. Like, these are scaled because every time you open loose packs, people immediately assume they're scaled, which I mean, there's sometimes that they are, but they're not always scaled. Woodland Sprite, let's go. We got the Dragon's Gunfire, a wing beat of Dragon Dragon. Let's see if we can uh, actually pull something out of here. Dragon Man manipulator we got the super rejuvenation battery action to smochi a robo lady serpentine princess and this doesn't feel like foil to me royal oppression look at that corner that's a wild looking corner right there royal oppression it's an oppressive old card for sure all right so far the naysayers may be right we have not pulled anything yet but can we break the streak all we need is one big pack blue eyes toon dragon i'm happy with that we could go one for 19 i'm down is this gonna be it we've got the ryu ran the Reliable Guardian, Spear Cretan, Weather Report, Queen Bird, Mystic Plasma Zone, Whiptail Crow, Giant Turtle Who Feeds on Flames, and UFO Turtle. Gonna search out those fire cards. Was there ever a deck that used this card? I'm sure at some point there was, but it feels like it fires were never really the, you know, a good deck. Sorry, you Pyro fans. Didn't mean to, didn't mean to hurt your feelings there, but let's keep going with Pharaonic Guardian. So far, our best cards we have pulled have been comments from Pharaonic Guardian. We got a Giant Axe Mummy. Gravekeepers of Assal, Teuton Mask, Dime Eater, Servant of Catabolism, Disturbing Strategy, Gravekeepers Guard, Hieroglyph Lithograph, <laughs> and a Pyramid Turtle. This is such a cool card. An absolutely amazing card back in the day. All right, it's looking bleak for sure, but we still have a lot of packs to go. It's always possible that we, they are just shuffled to the bottom. Octoburser, Hungry Burger, The Commencement Dance. Metal fish. Ah, oh, there he is. A metal fish with a razor sharp caudal fin. A very nice. The uh, malevolent nuzzler. Ancient one of the deep forest. A fire kraken. Will it be a blue eyes toon dragon? Dark witch. Will it be a blue eyes toon dragon? Cyber jar. The original OG first edition magic ruler cyber jar. Very nice. This would be a cool one to grade, like if it didn't cost so much right now. $50 is actually open though, by the way. PSA is now doing $50 level. So it's getting lower, which is nice. Okay. It's not looking good at all. It's looking pretty bad, actually, because we are probably eight packs in or so. But that doesn't mean that the uh, the rest don't have foils. We're just going to have to find out ourselves. We got the Electric Snake, the Minar, Flash Assailant, Turtle Oath, Wall Shadow, Stone Ogre Grotto, Gaia Power, Chain Energy, and we got a Giant Germ. So we will be doing all kinds of setting and passing with these cards. Giant Germ is going to be burning people up and summoning other ones. Unfortunately, we only have one right now. Well, probably fortunately, we don't want to pull anymore. Okay, let's go Magician's Force. I would also take a Dark Magician Girl as our only pull. I'd be down for that. Let's go and see if we can pull something. Own Vindictive. I would love to pull Breaker or Dark Paladin as well. Master Driver, pretty much any foil at this point. Huge revolution. All right, all right. Poison of the old man. You can either burn for what, 800 or recover 1200, something like that? Yeah. Pixie Knight. The Burning Beast. All right, very nice. Autonomous Action Unit. Dimension Jar. And. Oh, a Dark Paladin! The original Unlimited! Dark Paladin! All the naysayers are like, they're not weighed! It's insane! Dark Paladin! I have never pulled this for myself. We pulled in a box break one time, but that was it. Dark Paladin, wow. Are we grading this card? Wait, let's check the centering. 
Uh, it's actually not that bad. It's slightly going this way, but it's not too bad. Surface looks amazing. Dark Paladin, what's the corners look like? Corner's not completely perfect, but still pretty good. Oh my gosh, insane! A Dark Paladin for Magician's Force! <laughs> I can't believe we just pulled that. That is insane. It's worth going over 10 now. The rest of these packs, what could be inside? Anything could be inside. A Dark Paladin out of four loose packs of Magician's Force. That is pretty insane. All right, I'm happy with the opening now. The card's probably only like 20 or 30 bucks, but Mint Condition Unlimited MFC. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not too mad. Let's go. Twin Long Rods. Course of Sanctuary. The Mechanical Snarl. Slot Machine. Where's his little brother? The Dark Zebra. We already saw him earlier. The Rising Air Current. Red Archery Girl. Can we get something out of Magic Ruler? Malevolent, Malevolent Nuzzler. And the Arkansas Razorbacks. Very, very nice. But uh, that's not what we're looking for right now. All right. Let's do our last Legacy of Darkness. We only had two of these. These are unlimited, so they're not too crazy. But I would take a Seeker Rare. I don't care if it's unlimited. Yada or Injection Fairy Lily. Whichever one this is. Let's go. We got the Dragon's Gunfire. A Wing Beat of Giant Dragoon. The Dark Manipulator. We are recording. We didn't miss the Dark uh, Paladin. With a Life Absorbing Machine. Audio is also on. I've missed that a few times. Throwstone Unit. Super Robo Yaru. The Bark of Dark Ruler. A winged minion. Oh, and a luster dragon. That's pretty cool. An unlimited super rare luster dragon from Legacy Darkness. So the unlimited packs are coming in. First edition, however, are not being clutched yet, but they still have time. They're going to do it. And by the way, if you are interested in the commons and rares from this opening, make sure to hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at Ruxin34, or you can email me at RodneyRuxin34 at gmail.com because I usually do sell the commons for the most part, for now at least. So if you guys are interested in those, hit me up. MRL, first edition. Let's go. Weather report. Upstart. Very nice card. Ceremonial bell. Koto Dama. The stone ogre grotto. Chain energy holding them back. I mean, this guy is always just. I was like, what in the world is that thing? It's very creepy looking at. It's got to be another Yu Gi Oh monster, right? High tide Yojin. Boar soldier. And. Oh! A blue eyes too, dragon! Oh my gosh! I thought it wasn't a foil! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Okay, who was saying they were scaled? Admit it. Raise your hand in the comments. If you were thinking they were scaled, admit it right now. Look, I'm, I'm part of you guys. I thought they were too. Or at least light, you know. I didn't, Maybe not the, the seller scaled them, but you know what I mean. I didn't think we were getting anything. And then this happened. This happened. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, Dark Paladin, and Luster Dragon. Service is insane. Centering is pretty good. It, the, the bottom is a little bit thicker than the top, but the side to side is very good. No way. Unreal. Unbelievable. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Oh my goodness. There's still six packs left. We've already pulled more than I could even imagine to ask for at this point. Oh my gosh. Now it's like Ferrani Guardian needs to step up. Only pull out of Magic Ruler so far has been insane. Let's keep going. Uh, Ferrani Guardian, what you got? We got an Arsenal bug. This is going to be a great video. I'm super excited for this. Royal Tribute, a Des Lakuta for the, uh, what is it called? The uh, something about chomping something, you know, the flip them upside down. You know what the, the acronym? You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Great Keepers of Sailor. I've got the Cry UL. Buster Rancher. Poison Mummy, and can we get something else? Wait, there might be one more card. Call the Mummy. Okay, I always really like this artwork. It looks like a Wookiee from Star Wars. And... Gora Turtle. Just a regular old rare. Okay, I need that because I'm getting a little bit too excited. It's probably not good for my, like, blood pressure or whatever. I don't think I'm that old yet to care, but... Um, yeah, let's just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. Magician's Force. Third pack. Last time we pulled a Dark Paladin. Can we pull a Breaker? Can we pull a Dark Magician Girl? At this point, I technically, I guess we could pull a Dark Paladin. I doubt there's like two different boxes, though. It's probably from the same box. Let's see. We've got a Union Rider. Meta Silver Armor. The Relive Barrel. A White Dragon. A Ritual. Ronic Duck. No, Sonic Duck. Frontline Base. We've got the Physical Double. Decayed Commander. And will we get the Dark Magician Girl? Big Bang Shot. No, but we will get a Big Bang Shot. Pretty cool. Still a few packs left. I can't believe we just pulled a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. So these were, these were hobby packs. These were from a hobby box at some point. I don't know where he got these from. He said he just found them. So I guess he found them in the basement or something. I don't know. I don't know. Attic, whatever. October Sir Closet. Hungry Burger. Ah, the legend. He's here. Commencement Dance. Very cool. Metal Fish with the Coddle Fin. We got the Hamburger Recipe. We got the Psychic Kappa. Very nice. A Griggle. Final Destiny. And... Oh, an ultra rare spellbinding circle. I just assumed it was nothing when I saw it was a trap because I think this might be the only trap card. That's a foil. I could be wrong about that, but it's one of the only ones. Spellbinding circle ultra rare. Saving them all for the end. What did I say, guys? 
Oh my gosh. Spellbinding Circle. Centering's pretty good too. I mean, it's not completely perfect, but similar to the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Three packs to go. I mean, at this point, this is absolutely insane. Ferronic Guardian has had zero foils, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, Ferronic Guardian. You don't have to have anything. It's all good. You had some good commons and rares at this point, and we've pulled some absolutely amazing stuff out of everything else. We've got the Gravekeeper's Curse, Banner of Courage, Curse of Aging, the Yomi Ship. Detroit. We've had some crazy luck recently. Summon Skull last week. If you guys missed that video, go check it out. We got a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, a Dark Paladin, D-Tribe. I mean, this is crazy. Bird Face. We got the Rite of the Spirit. Metamorphosis. Let's go. An amazing common. And one more. Curse of Royal. Okay, so we had some great comments out of Pharaonic Guardian, but uh, dude, we don't need foils out of there. We've done good on everything else. Woo. Okay. Two more packs, baby. Let's go. Magician's Force. Insane. Insanity has been had by all. Let's go. One, two, three, four. What can MFC bless us with? Can it be the Dark Magician Girl? That would be. I will lose it if that happens. Mass Driver. Oppress people. Okay. Poison of the Old Man. He's going to poison us or he's going to heal us. One of the two. I right, too. We got the Magical Marionette. Emblem of Dragon Destroyer. Pixie Knight. Burning Beast. And the final card of MFC. Apprentice Magician. A pretty good card that you can, uh, you can summon the old Vindictive from your deck. Pretty cool. All right. In the final Magic Ruler pack, out of nine packs, we've gotten one Ultra and one Secret Rare. So at this point, it's like, well, we can just take another Rare. I'd take a Super, though. I'd take anything, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with it already, so I can't really complain. Let's see what we can get. Minar. Jigen Bakadin. Flash Assailant. Turtle Oath. The Whiptail Crow. Performance of Sword. Giant Turtle Feeds on Flames. Magical Labyrinth. And... Shining Angel, and there it is, our, our Guardian Angel, bringing down all those amazing pulls. We will take that, guys. What an awesome opening. And if you guys enjoyed videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we will be opening more old stuff like this in the future. Shout out to TCG Trust, your cards, Tone Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Mike, Nance, Mimic Gecko, Drax Stream, Mooster Jr., Barding, and Anastasia Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.